Welcome to the second part of the Ozone screencast. Let's continue by creating a virtual data center within a zone. We click the New button and a dialog window opens up. We fill in the name of the virtual data center and the username and password of the administrator of the virtual data center. We choose the zone where the virtual data center will be created. A list of physical hosts is presented, so we can choose which ones are going to be part of the virtual data center. We choose a couple of them. Note that we can force the sharing of physical hosts among virtual data centers by checking the host sharing checkbox. Once created, we can browse the metadata of the virtual data center. We can see the links to Sunstone and to the endpoint needed to operate with the command line interface. The ACLs created to manage the isolation of the virtual data center are also displayed. It is worth noting that each virtual data center is associated with a group, created in the zone hosting the virtual data center, and the ID of this group is also displayed here. Let's switch to the terminal to show how to manage a virtual data center for the command line as a virtual data center admin. First, we need to change the endpoint of Open Nebula's command line interface, in order to use a reverse proxy that will redirect each command to the correct zone. We will do this by changing the one XML RPC environment variable. We also need to set the credentials for our role as the virtual data center admin. With one user show, we can get the information about our role within the Open Nebula instance. Now we are going to create storage resources for the virtual data center users using pre-made templates. This is the template. Now let's create the image with the one image create command. We can check that the image has been successfully created with the one image list command. Afterwards, we publish the image and check that the command worked. The same process is repeated for the virtual networks. We edit the template to change the name of the virtual network. With a 1bnet create command, we create the network, and we display the network we have just created with a 1bnet show command. With a 1bnet list command, we can see the whole virtual network pool. Now we publish it, and finally we check again that it has been published. Since the details of the infrastructure shouldn't matter to the user, we can't see the host information or user information, but we can create a user for the newly created virtual data center. We are going to put on the hat of the virtual data center user and operate through Sunstone. We need to log in with the credentials provided by the virtual data center admin. The tabs shown in Sunstone are only the ones that the functionality of the user allows. There is one image and one network, the ones created and published by the Virtual Data Center admin. Let's now make use of the Virtual Data Center resources. First, we create a template for a virtual machine. We set the name, memory, CPU, and two vCPUs. We add an image from the Virtual Data Center image repository with the default options, and the network lease from the public Virtual Data Center network also with the default options.
Now is the time to instantiate a virtual machine from the template. We can see the metadata. And now we just need to wait until the scheduler deploys the virtual machine onto a physical server to start enjoying our virtualized services.